footsteps. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rechachadash, Layawalam Yum. I want to give double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me sound doctrine. Strong shalom to you men and women, once again, you know, doing this work diligently, chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling, your election sure. We're going to get right into it. Um, I got this picture pulled up, um, you know, as you can see, it's footsteps on the screen, right? And, um, this lesson, hopefully it's edifying, but uh, it's been on my spirit today. I wanted to go into how our footsteps are guided by our power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? You know, the place where you're in right now, the situation that you're in right now is because the Lord is the one that put you in this situation, right? And we're going to get some precepts out to, um, to prove that point, man, right? Your footsteps are guided by the Lord. No matter what you do, no matter what you think. You're in this position. You're in your position because of the Lord put you there. And he count all your footsteps, direct all your footsteps, man. Right. Let's get into some precepts real quick. Um, We're going to get uh, Psalm chapter 22, verse 9. It says, but thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. Verse 10, I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. So I brought this precept out to um, let you know that the Lord deals with a specific group of people. He deals with a person or a specific group of people from the womb, from the beginning of their time, right? You know, uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5 also proved that too as well. Let's get it. Jeremiah 1 and 5, right? Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right. So the prophets who who are uh, who are sent unto the nations were ordained by the Lord from the womb. Man, Hebrews one and one let you know that what he in sundry times in diverse manners he speak to the people by the mouth of the prophets. You understand, right? So the Lord is the one that what creates people and creates that identity and that person from the womb, man. He created the vessels fitted for destruction as well as he created the vessels fitted for righteousness, man. Right? The Lord do all these things, right? The Lord directs your footsteps, man. Let's get uh, Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9, right? Proverbs 16 and 9, it says, A man's heart, meaning a man's mind, deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps, right? The Lord directs your steps, man. He'll give you over to your mind. You might think, hey, you're going to go to college. You know, you might think um, you're supposed to um, get this particular job or get that particular job. You know, um, anything you set your mind to, the Lord will give you over to that. But he controls your footsteps, man, right? The Lord directs your footsteps. Let's get over in Job where he says, do the Lord count your, count his steps, right? And we know that the scriptures was written for our learning. Uh, Job chapter 31 and verse 4, it says, Do if not he see my ways and count all my steps, right? So the Lord see all of our ways and he count our steps, man. Every step that you take is counted by the Lord. He counted the strains, the strains of hair, the strands of hair on your head, man, right? So every step we take is guided by the Lord, whether you like it, accept it, believe it or not. You understand the Lord is the one's the Lord is the one who try the man's mind to try the man's reins and, and give them according to it. Right. Let's get Jeremiah. Let's get it. Jeremiah chapter 17. And we can start at verse um, nine. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Right. The mind is desperate, desperately wicked, is deceitful above all things. Verse 10, it says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, right? So the Lord directs our steps. He see all of our ways. He give every man, every woman according to their ways, man. Why? Because he directs your footsteps, right? Every step you take, the Lord directs it, man, right? Let's get Proverbs 20 and 24 real quick. It's not going to be a long lesson. These are quick precepts letting you know that the Lord is the one that direct your footsteps. So just, you know what I'm saying, repent and keep it moving, man. The best thing you can do in this time is repent and beg for forgiveness. Hope that you're part of the elect, man, right? Because the Lord already know who's going to be saved and who's not going to be saved, right? 
We just have to live out our lot, man. Hopefully, you know, through the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, hopefully I'm a part of that number, man. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24 says, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right? This is the Lord telling you. Right? How can you understand your own way when he directs your footsteps? How can you understand your own way when we remember not the former things? Right? The Lord know what we're doing on this earth and what's our purpose. And then he reveal it to us through our throughout our lives, man. What's our purpose on this earth? Right? Right? The Lord directs your footsteps. Man's goings, woman's goings is of the Lord. How can you then understand your own way? That's what the scripture is bringing out. Right? Let's get Isaiah 46 and 10 real quick. Just to bring out more precepts, letting you know that it's out of your control. Only thing you can do is just repent, man, and hope that you're part of the number. Right? Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Let me highlight it. It says, Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures, man. This is the Lord telling you from the beginning the ending was declared, man. From ancient times, the things that are not yet done. So whatever is not yet done, whatever is to come, whatever is in the future, it was proclaimed from the beginning, man. Right? The Lord has directed everything. He's in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. That's Psalm chapter 115 and verse 3, man. You understand? The Lord created the part of the, the vessels fitted for destruction, and he created the vessels fitted for righteousness, man. You understand? This is what the Lord's doing. Let's see Isaiah chapter 29 real quick. Let me see if this is a precept I want. Isaiah 29. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 15. Let me see. Isaiah 29 and 15. It says, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe, W-O-E, unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Verse 16, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? Right? This is this is um this is a scripture that's teaching you how to be humble, man. Right? You can't speak up against the Lord because he made you that way. Every single thing that you, every nook, every cranny, every dot, every hair, every footstep was guided and directed by the Lord, man. You understand? Period. You know? So suck it up. We're in this position right now because we disobeyed our God, so he put us into captivity. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47 says, Since thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, therefore you shall serve your enemies in a one of all things, man. You know? So every step that we take is guided by the Lord. And you have to believe that, right? If you don't believe it, you shall not be defended, right? No gun is going to be able to save you. None of that, man, right? None of that's going to be able to save you. Only the Lord will be able to save you, right? Uh, let's get uh, Job chapter 33, verse 3. My word shall be of the uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. Verse 4. The Spirit of God hath made me and the breath of the Almighty have given me life, man. Right? What's going to save you? The breath of the Almighty, man. These scriptures. This spirit. Right? Knowing who you are. Knowing your, knowing your identity. That's going to be able to save you. Right? And the Lord is going to direct who he wants to direct in this truth, man. If he call you, then you are called, but only a few are going to be chosen, man. Um, what is that? Uh, let me see here. Luke 4, verse 44. Let me see. No, that's not it. So like it. Look, the Lord directs your steps, man. St. John chapter 6 and verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which have sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. So you can't even come to Yahweh, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You can't come to him, right? Why? Because the Lord have to send you to Yahweh Shah first. That's why the scripture says many are called and few are chosen. If your footsteps land you into this truth, it's because the Lord have called you. 
Now, it's your job to give diligence to make your calling and your election sure, man. Right? Right? It's the spirit that give us life. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Verse 64. But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahawashah, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus, for Yahawashah knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. So you can't fake in this thing, man. The Lord knew from the beginning, from the ancient times, right, who believed not, right, and who should betray him. There's no secret. John chapter 6 and verse 65, it says, And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my father, man. So you cannot come to Yahweh if the father didn't send you. And guess what? You can't get to the father without going through Yahweh So it's interchangeable. You got to pray through Yahweh You can't just go to the father and be like, um, Lord, uh, Yahweh, please forgive me. No, you got to say, Yahweh, please forgive me in the name of Yahweh man. Right? Because Yahweh is the in, is the mediator. But right here, it tells you that it's all interchangeable. It all goes around. The father is the one that directs the footsteps. So he's going to direct the sheep that hear the, the shepherd's voice. From He's going to direct them from the beginning. Like he's been directing the, uh, the, uh, the sheep. Right. The ones who sincerely care, they they hear the word and they follow the way, man. Right. So just know that your steps are guided by the Lord. That's why there's nothing you can do against our power, man. There's nothing you can do. Right. Get a couple more precepts. Job 34 and verse 14. It says, if he set his heart upon man, if he gather unto him unto himself his spirit and his breath verse 15 all flesh shall perish together and man shall turn again unto dust if now thou hast understanding hear this hearken to the voice of my words right so i read over to you in john chapter 6 and verse 63 that it's these words that are spirit and they are they are life so right here is telling you that if the lord set his heart set his mind upon man and he gathered his spirit, he gathered these words back from him, he gathered his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding back from that man or back from that flesh, then it all shall perish together and return back into the dust. Now you go into that definition of the word dust that goes into confusion, right? So that's why you got a lot of reprobate minds out here because the Lord have put his mind, set his mind upon that man and removed from him that breath, that wisdom, that knowledge and that understanding. So now you got them going off off a uh, now you got them going off off a uh, uh, several different realms of doctrine, man, right? Because why the Lord wanted them to do that? The scriptures tell you that the deceived and the deceiver are the Lord's, man, right? This is His movie, and we're playing a part in it. So that's why it's important, Yashara, to repent every day, to make your calling and your election sure, man. That's the only thing you can do is repent in these times, man, right? Fear the Lord, keep the faith, and endure to the end. That's why the Lord told us over here, and I'm going to end with this, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13, man. It says, let us hit a conclusion of the whole matter, right? Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right here, it lets you know that you're supposed to fear God. You have to have faith that he exists in order to fear him. Then you have to keep his commandments, right? Meaning do the work to the best of your ability, right? The Lord say, don't eat pork. Don't eat pork, man, right? If you identify where it says in the law to do something, you know what I'm saying, try it to the best of your ability. Now, I know that there's some commandments and some laws that we're not going to be able to keep in this wicked-ass kingdom, right? But the Lord is going to make a future covenant with us where he's going to write the laws in our minds, man, where we're not going to be able to go off, right? So that's why we have grace now so we can repent, rehearse the righteous acts in the land of our captivity, right? Judges chapter 5, verse 11, right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 14, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Why? Because our Lord Yahweh is the one who try, the, try men's minds and give them according to their ways. We read it over in Jeremiah 17 and verse 10, man. Right. So hopefully this is edifying, man.
Hopefully it was edifying. Once again, I want to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rechachadash Yom. Double honors to my elders and apostles once again of Great Millstone for teaching me sound doctrine, you know, pushing his truth and sincerity. Strong shalom to you men and women, you know, strong shalom to you all. Endure, man, repent and keep it moving. You understand? On to the next one. Shalom.